to manage your career in Ketu Mahadasha. I had uploaded a Ketu Mahadasha video recently which was well received. However, this time one question kept popping in the comment section multiple times. How do I manage my career in Ketu Mahadasha? It is a tricky question to answer because it depends upon person to person. A student would need a totally different advice from a salary person who would need a radically different advice from an entrepreneur. Ketu is good only for young children and old people. It can be tough on young men, but it is brutal towards middle-aged men as they have a lot of family responsibilities and financial liabilities. As a middle-aged man who lost his job in Ketu, my heart goes out to all of you who face this situation. I would try to give my best tips for all categories separately. I will do my best, so let's start. Part 1 Managing Career in Ketu Mahadasha During Your Youth Dear youth, you do have the energy but Ketu will come for your mental alertness. Sleep a lot and I mean a lot. There can be a lot of mental fog, meditation and pranayam will come in handy. Tip number two, your marks may fluctuate, let them. Unlike Mercury Mahadasha, you won't be the sharpest person in the class. Keep chanting, apna time aega and take it easy. It is okay, let someone else shine. If you are getting decent marks, pat yourself on the back and move on. Tip number three, you will change jobs and that's okay. Nowadays, it is considered alright to change your jobs. You might get laid off, you might have to resign and spend some time hunting for a new job. It's absolutely okay. Take it easy and thank God that this did not happen to you in your middle ages. Tip 4. Keep your goals realistic. No, you will not become an IAS or get any other government job in Ketu. There, I said it. Now what? Get a job that you can reasonably get and which is easy on your body and soul. Do not beat yourself up for not getting the top job. A parting tip to the youth, a lot depends on chart to chart but most people usually have a good Venus period. Wait the Ketu period out and like I said keep chanting, apna time aega. But to middle aged salary professionals, my heart goes out to this category. Government takes taxes, the school takes fees and Ketu takes your happiness. You have my sympathy. Here are some tips from personal experience. Tip number one, take care of your body. You are no longer that young. Ketu loves to give diabetes and other debilitating diseases. Please go to the gym, do pranayam and take plenty of rest. Taking Tulsi would be a great idea. Number two, very important, please get health insurance. May you never need it, but I have seen accidents and random health issues on Ketu ranging from sleep apnea to heart attacks. I know this is not a part of career thing, but you don't want to pay medical bills when you have lost your job. Tip number three, have some savings. I often joke Ketu brings Bimari and Berosgari without exception. Save up all that you can and avoid big buys like a home or a car in Ketu. Save up for a rainy day because God knows a storm is coming. Number four, resign if you must. If you are unable to take work pressure in Ketu, like I could not, be ready to resign. Better be unemployed for a few months than have a heart attack. You can always get a new job, but you can't get a new body. Tip number five, seek peace, not growth. I know the sweet calling of the next level in the career. You want that bigger, better designation. You want that 50% salary high, but stop right there. Remember, this is a trap. Don't fall for it. If you are happy and at peace where you are, please be kind to yourself and stick to it. Part 3. Managing Ketu Mahadasha for Entrepreneurs You guys are my favorite people. You create wealth, goods, jobs and entire economy, but you get most hate. You guys are at maximum risk in Ketu Mahadasha because downsides are so steep. Here are a few tips for you. Tip number one, once again take care of your body. I am repeating this for the third time and for a good reason. You people are at the maximum risk. You can work yourself into exhaustion and sickness. But remember, if health fails, your business fails. You owe it to employees, your family and most of all to your business. Tip number two, don't get greedy. Greed is not good in Ketu Mahadasha. The next big thing can well be a can of worms. 
the sure thing may not be so sure after all. People who are way bigger and smarter have been ruined by Ketu. Do not fool yourself. Stick to the safe and sure. Tip number three, and this applies to everyone. I am totally against any kind of speculation from stock markets to whatever. This is the only place where millionaires can lose their shirt in one day. If you have some extra working capital, keep it in a fixed deposit. Do not play with this money. Keep things legal and play it safe. Nothing like a court case to spoil your money and peace of mind. Keep things absolutely ethical and legal. Hire good lawyers and accountants. If you give Ketu an ethical loophole, a lot would come out of it. Keep your hands clean and play it very, very safe. One final advice to all three, seek peace and let go. We have been brought up in a very Shani Rahu culture where success is defined by external possessions. Work hard, try again and all such nonsense has been spoon fed to us in order to create obedient slaves and mindless consumers, binding us tighter and tighter into the chains of Maya. Remember Ketu is our liberator, he is going to wake us up. Ketu will shatter the matrix and turn it on its head. This is what Ketu says. The harder you try, the worse it gets. You must learn to let go and seek peace. Your needs would be met provided you shun your greed.